The mathematical abilities of crows. They can count their own calls. Corvids have a reputation as intelligent birds, and they've just proven it once again. German scientists taught black crows to make a specific number of calls in response to visual or auditory stimuli. Researchers emphasize that this skill involves planning in advance. Corvids are one of the most intelligent representatives of the bird world. They are known for their learning abilities. Research over recent years has proven that they can create tools and even understand abstract concepts. In new experiments, researchers from the University of Tübingen have shown that black crows, also called black crows, Corvus carone, can count, and count aloud. Scientists taught them to produce a specific and intended number of calls in response to visual and auditory signals. This specific display of numeracy has never been observed in any species other than humans. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Science. Crows seem to have some math skills. But it is not everything. Moreover, they have very good voice control, says Andreas Niedel from the Institute of Neurobiology at the University of Tübingen. The researcher and his team conducted behavioral experiments with three black crows. The birds were given the following task, when they saw selected Arabic numerals or heard certain sounds, they had to make one to four calls, depending on visual or auditory cues, and then complete the sequence by pecking on enter. The university bred birds had already been trained to make sounds on command. Over the course of several months, the birds were taught to associate visual signals appearing on the screen with the number of sounds they were expected to make. Later, they were also introduced to auditory signals, each of which was associated with a distinct number. The visual stimuli were presented in the form of Arabic numerals. In turn, the sound of the guitar signaled that the bird should make one call and the sound of the drum should make three calls. Black crows that made the correct number of calls were rewarded with an insect, a mealworm, which is a delicacy of these birds. All three birds made it. They were able to count their sounds, says Nieder. In most cases, the birds responded well, which is beyond chance. The reaction time between the presentation of the stimulus and the issuance of the first call was relatively long and increased as the number of calls expected by the researchers increased. The length of the delay was not influenced by the nature of the stimulus. Regardless of whether the stimulus was visual or auditory, the time of the first call was similar. This suggests that the birds were wondering, before opening their beaks, how many calls they needed to make to receive the treat. The longer reaction times suggest that the birds had to think, organize, and encode the electrical signal from the brain to the muscles to start calling. The delay is consistent with mental planning, emphasizes John Marsluff of the University of Washington, who was not involved in this study. He also notes that people do much the same thing when asked a question that requires an answer longer than one word. In hundreds of trials, the birds made the required number of calls. However, they did make mistakes, usually after many trials and when the target number was three or four. Our birds love number one and really dislike number four, says Diana Liao, CEO author of the publication. This reluctance was so great that sometimes they refused to make any sound and simply pecked at the screen to complete the process. This indicates that, based on the information presented to them, birds create an abstract numerical concept that they use to plan their vocalizations even before they make their first sounds, explains Nieder. Moreover, 
researchers found that they could predict how many calls a bird would make based on the acoustic properties of the first call in a sequence, and each vocalization in a sequence had acoustic features specific to its place in the sequence. Scientists emphasize that the ability to produce a certain number of vocalizations requires a highly developed combination of numerical competences and vocal control. It is not yet known whether this ability exists in non-human animals. We show that black crows can flexibly produce one to four calls in response to signals associated with numerical values, researchers wrote in the publication. People use speech to count and communicate their results. This is a skill we all learn in childhood. It may take some time to master the specific numbers associated with a specific quantity. But kids can sometimes use random numbers. Instead of counting 1, 2, 3, they may say 1, 1, 4, or 3, 10, 1. The number of vocalizations is correct, but the words themselves are jumbled. The study further supports the idea that some birds use the number of vocalizations to convey information such as the presence of predators and the amount of food. Scientists also say that crows' vocal counting abilities are similar to those of young children and may be an evolutionary precursor to true counting. We now know that numerical competence, once considered a hallmark of human intelligence, is not unique to humans, says Mars Love. This type of research opens the door to understanding the neural mechanisms related to mathematical abilities and unique aspects of human number understanding. They even have implications for the study of number-related cognitive disorders such as dyscalculia.